the U.S. Supreme Court made a decision that was quite shocking to most people who actually follow the court closely. Although, to understand this decision, as well as the implications that it has for the whole nation, I need to give you a bit of backstory here. To start with, there's a school located about 20 minutes outside of Washington, D.C., called the Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. This school offers classes from 9th to 12th grade, and two years ago, it was nationally ranked as the number one best public high school in America, at least according to the U.S. News and World Report. It's basically what's known as a magnet school. There are 1,900 seats available, and talented students apply to get in based on merit. However, like most schools of this type here in America, the Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, they had what the administration considered a problem. That's because the demographics of the student body in that high school, they did not reflect the demographics of the general population. There was not enough black students, and there were too many Asian students. Now, in a normal meritocratic society, where race is not really a factor, this wouldn't be a problem. However, in the year 2020, amidst the backdrop of the BLM movement, the school board of Fairfax County, they made the decision to change their admissions criteria in order to rebalance the demographics of the student body. Now, in terms of the actual admissions process, here's how the change manifested in practical terms. Quote, the school board stopped requiring a $100 application fee and standardized tests for admission. It also adopted a holistic review process that considers experience factors, such as a student's eligibility for free school lunch, their status as an English language learner, or attending a historically underrepresented public middle school. The school board also said the admissions process must be race neutral and admissions decision makers will not be provided an applicant's name, race, ethnicity, or sex. Meaning that in order to reshape the incoming freshman class, and to stop so many Asian American students from getting admitted, the board decided to drop the use of standardized tests as well as to introduce experience factors into the admissions process. Essentially, even though they did make a point to mention that the new admissions criteria would be race neutral, they essentially used proxies to attain their desired effect of rebalancing the racial demographic of the high school. And as a practical matter, they were quite effective. After this change was made, the proportion of black and Hispanic students, it went from 4% up to 18%, while the proportion of Asian students, it went down from 73% to 54%. And also, just as a fun aside, during that same time period, the school went from being ranked the number one high school in the country to the number five high school in the country. But that part might just be a coincidence. Regardless, because of this change, Asian American parents and Asian American students, they formed an organization called Coalition for TJ. And in March of 2021, they filed a federal lawsuit against the Fairfax County School Board, alleging that this change in policy directly discriminated against Asian Americans. Now, initially, after about a year of legal back and forth, the lower court ruled in favor of this coalition. Specifically, the lower district court, they granted the Coalition for TJ a summary judgment, and they ordered the school to return to their previous admission policies. The school board, they appealed that decision to the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. And after about another year and a half of legal back and forth, the appeals court ruled in favor of the school board. Specifically, the appeals court issued a split two-to-one decision reversing the lower court's ruling and allowing the Thomas Jefferson High School to continue with their new admissions policy. But the appeal court's rationale was likely not what you'd expect. Essentially, their decision was twofold. First of all, they ruled that even with this change in policy, Asian Americans still had the best success at getting admitted to this particular school. Quote, the race neutral policy spurred an increase of nearly 1,000 more students applying to attend the high school and more than half of the admission offers extended went to Asian American students. Black students received less than 8%, Hispanic students were given slightly more than 11%, and white students received more than 22% of the offers. Meaning, according to the court's rationale here, even with the new policy, even though it took Asian Americans from 73% to 54%, it still made Asians the most successful at getting admitted. And therefore, quote, the policy visits no racially disparate impact on Asian American students. Indeed, those students have had greater success in securing admissions to TJ under the policy than students from any other racial or ethnic group. Second, the appeals court decided that the drop in Asian American students at the Thomas Jefferson High School, it did not fall below the average percentage of Asian American students in the general area where the high school was located. In the city of Alexandria, the average high school has about 6% Asian students, while Thomas Jefferson High School used to have 73% Asian students. Then, after the school board implemented their change in the year 2020 in order to change the racial demographics, Thomas Jefferson High School decreased their Asian students from 73% down to 54%. 
Now that's of course a big drop, but since it did not go below the baseline of the other schools in the area, well, the court, meaning the appeals court, decided that it was still okay. Meaning in practical terms, that this racially discriminatory policy should not be considered discrimination because it wasn't effective enough. Now, as you would imagine, the coalition for TJ, they were not pleased with this ruling, and therefore they appealed this decision all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Here's part.